Hey, what's up guys? It's the Apex Sound. This is part, um, I think it's part 10 of Dragon Age. Maybe it's part 11. Actually, I think it's part 11. Yeah, sorry. My bad. It's part 11 and yeah, we are, have the full game now. I was just playing the EA Access Trial, which lasts six hours where you get access to the full game for six hours, but we couldn't go on to Valroy, yeah, so it's not exactly the full game. So we um, have the access now. We're going to go through to Valroy, as you said. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Cost four. We're going to go there now and we're going to address the Chantry. So recommended levels four to seven. We're five, so we should be fine. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. Um, I don't know. What do we do? Are we ha are we scared? We're not scared. We're not scared. This may not actually help. I don't know what to do. I'm not worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. All right. Okay. Power cast four. Confirm. Let's do it. Address this motherfucking chantry. So we have to quest and shit to get ourselves up to level five to actually be able to do this. So that was cool. We got to we got to do that in this trial. We got up to level five. I think we might be close to level 6, I'm not sure on that one. I think we're 5, I'm pretty sure we're at level 5. It definitely takes pretty long to level though, which is um, interesting. Like you can play for 12 hours and you'll probably only be at around level 8, you know? In most games you level up a lot quicker than that, and but there's probably a lot more levels in other games as well. I don't know what the max cap is in this. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll find out what the cap is as I sip on my hot chocolate, like Ghost Robo. Mmm. That's just tasty! Here we are, with the Inquisition. The city still mourns. Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me. <laughs> Varric is a legend. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. But if we're gonna kill the Templars, it will make us look bad, because we're killing the people that are protecting them. Or so they think they're... that are protecting them. They wish to return to Haiti. Someone will need to inform them if we have delay. Oh, we just turned level 5. Okay. Where are we headed? Are we, are we actually getting anything for picking up these things? Except XP. Small bit of XP I think we're getting, so... Might as well do it if we're getting XP, though. I'm not actually bothered to read them all, though. Fast. We are here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. 
A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. No servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. You're wrong. What should we do? We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Oh! Still yourself. She is beneath us. Save me the trouble. <laughs> yeah, basically. I was just about to do that myself. As if I would do anything for your pleasure. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars, join us, Colin, and help us close the breach. You refuse the herald. Help us close the breach. Yeah, that's all right. Then why are you here? Okay, let's just say help us close the breach. What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Oh, the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. You're wrong! But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition... Less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Jerks. They really are assholes. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Um... How well do you know him? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Will he see reason? Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Okay. Contact the Templars. Return to Haven's Chantry. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. Okay, how do we return to the to Haven's Chantry? What's that? An arrow with a message? Message is that written in a large flowing hand and border with doodles. People say you're special, I want to help. And I can bring everyone. There's a baddie 
in Val Roya. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and around the cafe, and maybe you'll meet him first. Spring swords, friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the locations in the market is map. Okay. It's kind of fucked up. How do we go back to... World map, um... Where's Haven? Here we go. Travel to location. Okay, so we can fast travel from there. Interesting. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering. And I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Hmm. Will you help us? Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lord herald. This is really cool. Like the interesting thing about Dragon Age is that you literally can decide what you want to do. Like literally your decisions mean so much in this game. Like uh, we could basically decide whether to side with the mages or decide to side with the templars. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And literally your decisions can affect people. They can affect whole groups of people it can and it can affect towns it can affect cities it can affect everything your decisions could like mean that a town will burn down or it could mean that a town will thrive it like it's it's unbelievable what decisions do in this game it's awesome as well though and i love games with decisions like that sometimes though it, they're hard to make like man like say if you're like deciding to join with someone or the other or if you're deciding to save or kill someone it's really hard sometimes in all sorts of games that, that have decisions, it's quite difficult at times. Doo -doo -doo. We're going back to Haven here to see what the council has to say, I'm pretty sure. Return to Haven's Chantry, yeah. Okay. Let's go see what they have to say. So we haven't actually even done any fighting in this part, but we shall at least... We can't use our mount here, I forgot about that. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's just run up to the Chantry. See what these motherfuckers have to say. Um, we haven't done any fighting yet. But, you know, it's been an interesting part though, because like, we're gonna see whether we're with the mages or the Templars and shit like that, so it is interesting, for sure. What's going on here? It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. Um... I don't know. At least we know the Chantry is no longer a threat to us. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Um. Ooh, I don't know. Find the Templars or meet the mages, I don't know. I think it would be cool to have the mages on our side, right? That kind of Lucius guy and the Templars kind of seem like a bit of a dicks. Or will we say, you must choose soon? We should meet the mages, fuck it. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think it's a trap? You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. 
then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. I want that guy to join our freaking team, that blonde guy. He seems really cool. I like him. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlay, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Grey Wardens? I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the First Blight thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. Hmm. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Alright. This world is in fucked up rags, man. Speak to the messenger. The threat remains. Where's this messenger? Where's the messenger, dammit? LOL, what? Said so speak to the messenger. What's that about? Alright, let's go into this room here and, and see what the crack is first. Head to the Inquisition's war room. I think that's what I just said, right? Let's see what's up here. What's up, Inquisition? So we're going to Ferelden or Orle? Ferelden. Alright, what's this sword about? Has Cassandra spoken to you about my new recruits? They are not your recruits, Commander. They're ours. Champions of the Just. What is that? Ten noble families will help the Inquisition pressure the Templars into sealing the breach. Okay. So this is choosing the Templars. Okay, where's the mages then? Uh, where's the mages one? Where's Redcliffe, by the way? I have no idea. The mages over this side, perhaps? No. Okay, that's weird. We have to choose the Templars? I don't know. Build the watchtowers available, scout the storm, Terran of Hive. Requires time, 20 minutes, okay. Weird. Deal with relatives, okay. Let's just go and choose these fucking Templars, fuck it. Champions of the Just, let's do it. The Templars must help us close the breach. The Order was founded to fight magic. We must first convince the Lord Seeker to bring the Templars out of exile. We've received word from a knight recruit. They gather at Therenfall Redoubt. It has been vacant for decades. Why go there? We must approach the Lord Seeker again to get anywhere. We can ask him then. Hmm. If we present a plan to seal the breach, the Templars may ally with us. First, we must prove ourselves a more attractive prospect. If it's status the Lord Seeker seeks, the Inquisition will approach him after allying with the noblest houses in Orlais. They'll come with us to Therenfall and demand the Templars' help close the breach. You believe that will work? Even the Lord Seeker would find it difficult to ignore so many nobles on his doorstep. Yes, especially when led by the Herald of Andraste. Okay. If it stops the sky from ripping open, 
I'm listening. Rumors you were saved from the Fade by Andraste have grown legion among the Templars. We've done our part to encourage them. A herald with a few companions may be dismissed, easily set aside. That same herald returning with noble support will be reconsidered, as will the power of the Inquisition. Hmm. Interesting. And my inspiration are bait. It makes it maybe that's Andraste's will. This could be why Andraste saved me. To lead her Templars against the breach. Perhaps also to convince the Lord Seeker to abandon the mania that has seized him. With respect, after his appearance in Valroyo, hang what the Lord Seeker thinks. We do not need the Lord Seeker. We need his Templars, with or without his approval. The breach will not wait for our differences to settle. True story. True story. All right, champions of the just. Several noble or legion houses will petition the Templars. We need 16, 15 power to use that. We only have 16. Lucky, okay. We still can't use anyone else besides these three. Kind of annoying. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there for the part, guys. We're, we're gonna go ahead further into the story. That was kind of a mainly story based um, episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit it with a like. We'll just see what happens after this loading screen, and then we might end the part, uh, depending on what's happening. The Summer Bazaar. Hopefully some of these noble houses will join us. It would really suck if they didn't, you know? They all just goes, nah. Let's get House Stark to join us. Come on, I'm Rob Stark after all. And then the Tullys will join. And the Car Starks. Although, maybe not the Car Starks. <laughs> Alright. The maps are huge, man. That's what, probably why it takes a good bit to load. The maps really are gigantic. Ooh, here we're, we're here already. Yes, the we... The Herald of Andraste! Lord Esmeral Abernash. Honored to participate. It is not unlike the second dispersal of the reclaimed Dales. Nothing. I'd heard... A Trevelyan or two took up the cause there. The Lord Seeker is willing to hear our petition about closing the breach. A credit to our alliance with the Inquisition. Care to mark the moment? Ten Orlesian houses walk with you. Um. The Inquisition values this alliance, Lord Abinash. Templars must see reason. We can't let the breach endanger us any longer. Oh yes, ghastly looking thing. The Lord Seeker can't think we're ignoring it. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'd divulge what finally got their attention. Rumor will, if you won't. What do you mean? The Lord Seeker won't meet us until he greets the Inquisition in person. Quite a surprise after the spat in Val Royal. Um... That's new to me, yeah, it is. The Inquisition only asks the Lord Seeker help us close the breach. Then it's all been arranged by your ambassador. Let the diplomats work their magic if you trust them. Between you and I, the Chantry never took advantage of their Templars. Wiser heads should steer them. Here we are, very in fall redoubt. Oh, it screams. I hate fun and kick puppies, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. It appears they've sent someone to greet you. Present well. Everyone is a little tense for my liking. Hmm. The Inquisition's reach is increasing. Impressive. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there for the part. I can't, oh, wait, I can't save it. Lord Seeker yeah. changed his mind about us rather quickly. Is he known for that? Perhaps he has a plan for us. All right, I'm going to leave there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like, and we'll continue the Dragon Age series if you do. Okay, so I will see you guys for the next part very soon. Bye-bye.